Alright, so let me tell you guys about my day today. It's been probably one of the longest days in a while that I've had because even though it's Saturday, I still had to get up at like, what was it? I got up at like 6, almost 7. And I had a, uh, a class at the firehouse today and it was just for, uh, what's it called? Um, apparatus operations, which basically is, um, when we go over like parts of like the ambulance and everything, like the fire truck, and you like go over procedures on how to like take the gurney out and everything, and then like all the junk that really doesn't make a difference. But um, it's harder than it looks, to be honest. There's a lot to remember, but it's also a lot of fun. Um, we had this one demonstration when you have to use the stair chair. Well, for all of you who don't know what a stair chair is, even though it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, it's like if we go on a call and it's on a multiple story house and say like you're on the third floor and your leg's broken and you can't make it down um, the stairs and we don't want to put you on a backboard because it's really not that bad. So what we do is we put you in the stair chair and we carry you down the stairs. Now going down is easier than going back up. Um, it, it's really hard to bring someone back up, especially when they're like, 300 pounds like you know they're like a really big person and it's so hard and we had to uh, practice that today on our stairs like in the firehouse we have like three flights of stairs and so um what else not only did you have to like carry the person up the stairs but after you were done you physically like had to get in the chair to feel what it felt like to be in that chair because it's scary like what they do is like um they strap you in the chair, so of course you have like shoulder straps on, and then sometimes they strap your feet in, and then if you're like unconscious, they uh, actually just strap your head into the chair so you don't move. But when they first pull you down, like that first drop is like the scariest thing. Like you want to grab out for everything, but you can't because then the, the paramedic might drop you because it throws your center of gravity off. But that's probably one of the scariest things I've ever had to do. <laughs> um. But I actually think I pulled a muscle when I was, like, carrying this guy up because when you get down to the bottom of the steps, you have to, like, lift with your back to lift the chair back up to move it back up the steps. So we did that, and this class ran from, like, 7 this morning until – when did we stop? I guess from, like, 2 o'clock is when we finally um stopped. But it's just – it's been a really long day. I even called out of work. I was so tired. Like, I got home. I was like, Mom, I really can't do it right now because my back hurts and everything. So I called work, and, of course, they weren't really too happy with me not coming in tonight, but oh well. Um, so, yeah. Um, I kind of just want it to be tomorrow already. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I don't know what I'm going to do until like 2 o'clock when I get to see my girlfriend. Um... But yeah, that was pretty much my day. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. I'm kind of just sitting here bored. I've been sitting here just like taking pictures and everything because I have no, like, nothing else better to do. But um, yeah, I guess that's about it. But um, you guys will definitely be getting pictures uploaded to like Twitter and everything tomorrow because I can already tell me and my girlfriend are going to take so many pictures. <laughs> um. But yeah, there might be videos. I'm not really sure if we're going to take videos tomorrow night. I guess it's going to be like her decision, but um, you guys will see. So if you guys like look on my Facebook or my Twitter or my Instagram, if you guys have it, um, you guys will see a bunch of them. So um, I guess that's it. Uh, see you guys later.